All right, guys, and welcome back to a cold and dark winter today in Samstead. Thank you for joining me once again. Had a few lovely comments again. For you guys who are watching, I'm ever grateful, so thank you very much. And some very, very useful stuff, and I made a couple of boo-boos that you've very kindly pointed out to me. Uh, but I'll go through a couple of them. Stephen1909, thanks for the entertaining and relaxing videos. You're very welcome, Stephen, and um, um, welcome aboard, and thanks for, thanks for joining this series. Light blue Sam, Sam C, man, thank you for your support over the, the years. Uh, bloody hell, you say the raid was bad. Should you focus on and defenses in the next episode? I think you might be onto something there, Sam. Absolutely right. Perhaps just adding fences across the roads will slow them down. It's not a bad call, but the I mean they they will just travel across the fields instead. I fear, but I, it's it's not a bad thought. The only trouble is I haven't got many sort of gaps in between. The, the the roads and the and the buildings to be able to build them so i don't think i'm going to be able to do it that way but appreciate the suggestion none, nonetheless uh left coast dad <laughs> you left me a very long message i'll try to summarize uh you first of all thanks for an entertaining episode you're very welcome you were commenting on the goods shown outside the root sellers neat thing about this game is that the goods shown outside the same thing with stockyards storehouses market set etc they actually reflect the goods that are currently stored inside the building yeah exactly and i i think that that makes total sense it does look pretty good you know the, the fact we've we've now got cabbages in there on this side maybe there's a few more turnips on this one it's a nice feature i really like that you also mentioned something very very useful if you also on your barn if you click the herd size button which we will do here um it's a way of automatically culling any cows that reach a certain amount so if i keep that to nine or ten for exact for example they will basically be slaughtered before i need to take action although you as you point out i do seem to delight in doing it manually <laughs> it's not it's not delight i promise i promise it's just a necessary part of life the way it works um you said also make sure to add a second grocer to each market that's actually a really good point i hadn't thought of on oh, by the way we're in a bit of a population crisis more on that in a second we can add a, a second grocer to each market they'll actually help stock the the markets themselves i'll have to come back to that because as you can see here i have no laborers i have no spares anyway even though i've got like 26 out of 24 farmers i could take a couple of those off because i do need the laborers i'm going to be building a couple of things and they're not going to do anything without that without the uh, well without the spare hands for now you also say, quite rightly, and while we're talking about defences, I've upgraded this tower, but you point out you can add a second watcher. Uh, that's a really good call. It makes them obviously twice as effective. And you also <laughs> said something rather scary to, to me. The largest raid in your own playthrough so far has been 67 raiders. Julius Benta, thank you very much for your comment as well. Yet yeah, time to build walls and put some forts in the choke points. Uh, it's got a lot of gold, so it's so it's doable. You've got a lot of gold, you say, so it is doable. Year number 38, my God. So we can build more of these. When you say forts, do you mean the barracks? Is that is that what that is? Or, or can they be upgraded to a fort? I'm not sure. I haven't seen a fort in the game. Perhaps that's what you mean. Uh, thinking commented, just wow, simply wow. <laughs> I mean, that's how I felt. Desburn, uh, very useful so far. A couple of your comments. Um, as you say as well, upgrading the watchtowers. Uh, surrounding them with walls slows the attackers down that's an interesting call actually putting walls around the watchtowers they'll go for them because they're one of the first buildings to come to and, and considering my my raid was from this direction uh it's almost stands to reason that the next raid is either going to come through here or it's going to come from this area they can't come from the east because there's mountains there i've never seen anything appear from that side of the map i'm right on the edge here so perhaps they can only come through here uh or perhaps this way if they're coming from this direction so i, I would i would guess that my next raid is going to come from here this is why i've gone for this tower first but you're right you also said i can't believe i did this i must have clicked the wrong button you said you turned the immigrants away again simple comment so succinctly put and uh yeah it wasn't deliberate i thought oh no we've lost one I thought I'd I thought I'd accepted them. I must have clicked the wrong button out of habit because I've been turning them all away. Oh no, not Luthark! Luthark, my tanner has died from old age. Oh god, no! T 
Tanner, we will remember you. Thank you so much for your service. Ah, this is a top tip from Richard R. And this is a really good tip. I didn't actually know you could do this. Open your resource tab, which I guess is this, this one here, or this button here. And it tells you, you say, which buildings are using the resource. Yes, you're quite right. I didn't realize I had to actually click on these items. So if I want to see what's using my coal, it's saying it's being used by the armory, the blacksmith forge, the brickyard, the foundry, and the glassmaker. That's brilliant. And what's producing it? This is so cool. I've do you know, I've seen this tab so many times and I have never once clicked on the, ob the objects, but I didn't realize there was this sub menu down here, which would help. It even shows you the wear time. I had no idea this even existed. Thank you very much for this one. Granddad does games. You asked me about my, my hardware specs. I'll tell you what, I'll probably just drop them into the answer in your comment, but I'm running a pretty high end PC. Pretty well, decent. It's the Ryzen uh, 9 series, I think. The fans on my PC, uh, they just go nuts when I'm playing this game. So I don't, I think there's probably a huge demand on CPU resource that might be just a performance issue with the game because I shouldn't really have a performance issue when all I'm doing is looking at a static screen. So I think there's some, I think there's some tuning issues they need to do. And I've got a pretty powerful GPU as well. So I, I don't know. I'll drop the specs in the answer to your comment. AK Sugar Bear, thank you. I know you've been here for some time. Thank you. You said uh, you missed the village was raided at, at 4826 in the last episode. So there was a message to pop up. My eyes can only look at a certain portion of my screen at the same time. I must have just completely missed it. But I did find out what happened. All that uh, 36 raiding party took was some bags of flour. I don't think we lost much at all. So I'm very happy about that. And finally, Epiphany, if you're watching this, I've known you for a long time, much appreciated. Expanding the town into the nuts area sounds more painful than desirable, she says. I think she's onto something there. I think we will have to leave the nuts alone. Let's go check out our trader and see what deals we can cut today. I certainly am in the market for a little more stone, uh, knowing that that's becoming an, an increasingly hard resource to find myself. Spices. That is a first. Now, let me check my, my villagers' happiness here. They want more luxury. They want more furniture. Well, that's the, the item of luxury. Before that used to be like uh, candles or glassware. Now these guys are hungry for an Ikea cabinet or two. So we'll, we'll buy some of those. Just, just a few. We don't want to spoil them too much. And it's expensive stuff. So let's just buy a few. I know it's not the best price in the world but spices that is really interesting i don't know i've never even seen this was a uh possible before let me just buy a small amount just to keep my my party happy did i buy them what happened okay i think i just bought five more i think because i'm not using the passage of time it's not transferred them i don't know what's happening here let me keep it on play while I'm doing it. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. It just took, it just didn't transfer it over here quickly enough. God damn it. Anything else I could buy off him? I've only got one bit of glassware. I'm, I'm just too slow to produce my own. I don't know what's going on at this place. I could increase, of course, this, but the problem isn't that. The problem is actually getting the sand into storage. Um, they produce 35 pieces of glassware. It's okay. But I need another sand pit, I suppose. And I haven't been able to find one. Oh, there's some rocks here. I suppose I could mark these up. We're going to get a little more stone. It's a little bit out of the, on the of the beaten track here. And there's one there. I didn't realise I had so much left lying around. It's just much further away from my village than I would normally like my people to go. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for all your comments. Let's get on and do some defensive work. I still need to increase my population. <laughs> I promise I won't. Uh, if another party of immigrants turn up, I will not be refusing them. So we're going we're gonna to speed on through this because we need to get more people here as a priority. And also, I've started to upgrade this uh, root cellar because we need more storage. And yet another merchant has arrived. So I have to go speak with him. Um, I'm going to upgrade one of these 
to stone. We've got enough planks. Let's do that one. And we'll have to start thinking about where we can put some walls. I've got two of these here. I'm thinking of actually moving one. I wanted a lot of coverage on this side. But I might move that one over, over to this side. Just to kind of get the same coverage, but but also catch them from a different angle. I could build a quite nice wall around here that it might drive them around the back. But if I block off this this bit here. Okay, let me go check in with my new merchant. Oh, one, two, three. Jeez, we've got loads of them. Okay, it's time to start buying some stuff. We've already checked him out. This guy always buys the pottery at a average price, but look at the amount of cash. Give me all your money. Look at that. He's going to give me almost everything he's got for the pleasure of buying the pottery. I'm producing a lot of it, so I'm glad this guy shows up every now and again to buy it. The medicinal roots. Have I upgraded my healer's house yet? Move that over there. We need more bricks. This guy's got some bricks. I could wait for them to be produced. Or I could give it a little helping hand. God damn, bricks are expensive. Okay, let's buy and transfer those. That's got us 52. And let's smack the healer's house upgrade. Should be able to turn that into a hospital. That should increase the desirability of the town, thus further improving the sizes of my houses. This is, oh, this is brilliant stuff. Getting on well here. I've got to do something about fertility to my crops as well. Let's stop getting distracted. Do I need an apothecary? I don't think I've got an apothecary, but I can't build it until I've got that hospital. So we'll keep those in storage. Hopefully they don't go off. I will buy four. I will buy. <laughs> I will simply buy four candles. Candles for forks. Sorry, I know I've done that joke once already, but I still love it. All right, my town is looking busy. How are we doing for the laborers? Have we still only got three? Okay. Okay. Oh god, we have a wood situation. Oh damn it, I thought I had loads. Oh, it's because I haven't got laborers, is it? I might have to cut down production on some of these others to get that back. Um, let's take out a couple of miners and bring them down to the village. They gotta chop. They gotta chop those trees. I don't know where it randomly takes them from. I'd be interested to see the soya. I kind of still want the planks because we need the upgrades. Firewood, we're doing all right. So let me take one of those away. Farmer, maybe we could drop down to 22 out of 24. Um, the rest of them are guards I'm keeping. I'm keeping every... Oh, we got villager attacked. Let's see. Let's see the action. Oh, yes. Check it out. The tower's doing their job. What's going on? Here? Oh, he's down. He's done. It's all over. Now, who? This guy. Where are you going? Jastar, the hunter. He's just basically running away into the woods. I don't actually. We should watch what he's doing in there. I don't want to know. Just carry on. So my biggest problem with building, like, defenses, really, is the the stone walls I'm going to need. I could always just go with. Oh my god, I've got no logs. Oh, this is awful. How do you prioritize logs over anything else? I've, I suppose I've got them all working on um, buildings and stuff. That will come back. It's just going to take some time. Oh god. No traders want to sell me any either. I should have I should have bought a load. Oh no. We need trees. Get out there and chop them down. Are these no, these aren't trees yet. I think these become trees. Oh, they are. Oh, yes. There we go. We've got a whole blooming field of them out here. But, oh, it's where the deer are. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have selected them. Oh, God. I don't think you can unselect trees, can you? No, it doesn't work. So, I guess we've got a bit of a log jam. Stricken with a fractured bone, you careless fool. Better. It looks like you've got boils on your face as well. Where did you get injured? Doing labor jobs. Fractured bones can lead to improper healing and infection unless treated by a healer. Well, guess what? Guess what? We've got a hospital. Oh, that's awesome. 
two new villages as well. Oh, it's jumped over here. It says the hospital treats sick or injured villagers, saving their lives. It's amazing. Or reducing the time it takes for them to recover. Okay, patients healed. They healed 21 people with jam, beans, and meat. A little bit of soap. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to know what they do with the waste. Uh, that's fantastic. We have a hospital, people. It doesn't look like a hospital. Maybe I have to go a bit closer. I, I would expect to say, see like a red cross symbol on there or something. But then... Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. <laughs> I love it though. We have a, a hospital. Okay, nobody is chopping down any trees. How do I get them to prioritize that? So what has happened? My laborers are doing nothing. Can I view any of them? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, you're doing something good. Well done, Fiona. Sorry, Fiora. The only one who's listened to my instructions is out there chopping a tree down by herself. Would be infinitely faster if you had some help. But I think I'm going to have to buy a load of wood. I need wood. So of course there are fortified walls which needs three stone each. That's definitely going to be better than using logs at the moment. But we can stick a fortified gate somewhere. Can we put that there? Oh, it needs eight logs. Well, that ain't going to happen for a while, but we can stick a wall on the other side. Does that go there as well? Okay, so we've just gone into the water there. And the idea will be to just come out this way. Probably not going to have many more buildings I need. But let me just let me just line this up. I suppose I could... I suppose I could just... block off the whole area. If I go up there... Oh, game! Stop being silly. I can't move the camera this way, which is why it's being temperamental. You can't get up there. That's about as far as the wall will allow. I might have to flatten this land. Otherwise, they're just going to climb up there and come back down again. But that's okay. It's kind of interesting. Um, that's one way to block them off. They can't come by sea. Unless... <laughs> I, I should be careful what I say. I've got one of those weird sort of locations, really, where they can come from many angles, but they do get channeled down these, these roads. They might come and destroy some fields. Uh, is that such a problem? Uh, one thing you can do, though, this is kind of cool. Um, I won't be doing it now because I need the res I haven't got the resources for it. But if you go to manage walls, um, you can select like all of these, and if say upgrade, that will upgrade them to the stone versions, I think. But I'm not sure I want the stone walls here. I have to think about this. We've got a few watchtowers on the way down into town, and this seems to be where some of the damage is being done as well. These guys, nobody is working on this at all. I don't know what's going on with my laborers. They're, they've got so many tasks and not enough time. So I think I'm going to have to start. I was going to say build houses, but you know, there's nobody's going to nobody around actually doing anything constructive or construction-wise, I should say. Can I slot you in there? Why not? What is blocking that? It's a silly bend in the road. Okay, let me let me ditch that. Get rid of you. Absolutely pointless. We don't need roads here anyway, really. Um, but we'll stick another house down. Just stick it at a nice jaunty angle. There we go. I suppose we could move the well here. And we would we have no room for another house? I, actually, I don't think we would. No, there's not room there anyway. So maybe a bit of reorganization is required, but I'm going to need a lot of... I need a massive labor force before that happens. Now, what I'm worried about now is we're getting towards winter. Let me just pause. I don't think I'm going to get any traders in. And there's nobody coming. I'm worried about firewood. 
Okay, time to use that excellent tip. Hopefully, I've realized this in time. On to resources. I'm going to need to look at the firewood. There's being used by shelters. That's good. Temporary shelters. That's also good. I'm going to have to turn off the bakers, the brewery. The brewery? I don't have one. So the bakers and the candle shop, I'm going to have to get rid of... Oh my god, there's loads of them. Soap. Smoke houses. Preservists. Pottery. I mean, they're maybe not using too much. Oh, Pottery, I could turn off. Charcoal kiln, I suppose I could turn off. Oh, I've got to basically save. Um, I've got to save my, my wood for the winter or my people are going to really struggle. Okay. Well, you're not using any over here. Oh, you're using coal, so actually you don't need any. Actually, what? You're using the wood, so that's that's stuff we don't want them using. Firewood, they're using coal, so they won't draw from the firewood. And they've got enough coal in here as well. Okay, so maybe I was worried about that. <gasps> 109, it's just suddenly dropped. Right, you're using it. So, I'm afraid the soap shop's got to go on hold. They have to go out and... Go out and chop a tree down instead because we have got a big problem winter is coming and we've got no wood from nowhere how is this happening how have i used up so much wood it's all these upgrades i've i've got i've painted myself into a corner haven't i i need them to stop even thinking about upgrading that Look at you, unable to work. Go and chop a tree down, Batana! Building has been attacked. Oh, fantastic. By a... Oh, flipping bear. Verona? You may have noticed there's a bit... Oh, you did. Well done. Well done, Verona. I always, I always knew I could rely on you. Not enough fodder for the winter. Oh, God, we're going to lose cows. We're going to lose villages. Firewood is a problem. Oh, God. I hope they've all got stock. But I'm really concerned. They should have firewood in their houses, but will it last the winter? Man, look at all these people running around. Shelter stocking, seeking food. Nobody's mentioned that they're seeking firewood yet. Teaching students. Go on, Moraga. This is so cool. Seeking clothes? In Dala? You're not running around naked or anything. Oh my god, this 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 episode is an an exercise of mild panic. Hoping that we can see through the winter. Oh look, we got logs back. Firewood only 58. Oh god, you know what? I'm gonna have to take the plunge. The food situation's pretty poor as well. Oh, how has it all gone so wrong so quickly? Right, I'm going to speed... I'm going to speed winter it. I think because I didn't grow enough food. Oh, we've got eight. Eight there, we've got a little bit back. So, we've got more food coming last year. I had to get rid of some disease, I think, in this one. I must remember to come back and check what's growing there next time. We've got clover and cabbage over there. I know I should be mixing the sand in my fields a little better. Uh, but that's okay. That one's good. Yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of food coming next year and a bit of flax for more clothes. Anybody's moaning about the clothes? Nobody's died yet. Firewood is short, but thankfully everybody is still alive. <laughs> oh, let's turn off that for a second and zoom in on our beautiful... And in fact, what a great angle. We get both the stockyard clock, the hospital, the town center, the theater. Man, these guys don't know how good they have it, do they? 
but yeah. Yeah, all right, we're finally getting some action here. Look at this. Look at this. These guys are working on chopping trees through the winter. That's exactly... This will keep you warm, mate. All right, we made it. Man, the balance of... of it's, it's a delicate balance, this whole game. And just one small disaster like that, if you just don't keep an eye on it, it can go so horribly wrong. Two new animals born this year. Two new villages as well. We're getting close to two, three is our max. We've got a long way to go to get to 300. That's going to take some time to build up to. I need to restore everything else that's happening. Now we seem to have a lot of a lot of activity, but I'm really looking for immigrants and <sighs> laborers. I realise I've turned off a few things, but the firewoods just about get it oh i was just saying it's got back to normal but <laughs> somebody just came and took 40 of them straight away a new traveling merchant has arrived please tell me that you have oh would you just you've got wood have you got he's so excited to see me but he hasn't got wood god damn it all right well we'll sell you some some of our crappy clothes because you buy them for a good price sold done you have been oh we can easily afford to sell you some of these as well sold um, what are you selling for me not really anything i care for right now although we could do with some soap because i've turned off my own production plan transfer job done okay that's good the the, the incoming Incoming money is good. 100 from the manufacturing. All the taxes from the large houses goes up. See the difference. Taxes from the normal homes to 35. Oh, oh, but in total. But all the combined taxes from the large houses. So that must be... I don't know. Was it, uh, there'll be a... We're earning more from less. <laughs> taxes from the market square. Uh, two of them as well. Village has been cured. Well done. Who's my healer? Well done, Sargon. You could you could wear something that's a, that's a little more, you know, bedside mannery. You know, w walking up to somebody with armor and a helmet at their bedside and just tell them you might feel a little prick is a little bit scary. I have to be honest, mate. Oh, we've got a new trader rolling in. Please have. I tell you what, stone and wood. I can't believe we got to this point. Now we're doing fifteen laborers. They're doing f all. I'm disappointed. I'm shouting down up here from the heavens at this lazy bunch of... Oh, hang on. We've got a new merch. I shouldn't be angry with my people. They're good people. All right, Trader 2. What can I do for you? Oh, luxury stuff. I feel like I need one of these myself. 850 pints of beer. <laughs> Not a problem. All right, let's 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 get our candle stock up. Just can't create enough of those. I did say I was going to build some more apiaries, but I haven't done it yet. All right, that's that then. We'll leave them to it. Man, fertility in this field is awful. That must be why I'm not doing so well with the food production. They're all going. They're all dropping down quite a lot. And I have to put some crops in. I have not really been putting enough of the clover in, which will help. I think that's the only thing that really increases fertility, apart from the poo you put on it. So this one, ah, oh yeah, you go, you see. So we have increased fertility in this field, just from a simple clover crop. And this one as well. So I think we did that last year, yeah. So, okay, so having clover at least once in the three-year cycle is a good call. How about our other field up this way? Yeah, low fertility, but... When we get the clover on it, if I remember... We can tell the cows to come over here and deal with this. I don't think we've got any... Yeah, we haven't got any problems... In terms of... Uh, weeds or anything, and there's no disease. That's amazing. That only took like one winter to, to deal with another bout of clover. We need to, to get the fertility of this one up again. 
Okay, let's do that for, for next year. The wood is still a problem, but we're getting it done. I think what happened is I, I totally overloaded on the wooden planks. Because I upgraded... Uh, where's my wooden... Where's my plank maker? Over here. I added six people. I think I'm going to have to chop that down. These two go off. Chop some more trees. You can't do your other job without them anyway. Okay. Time to build some more apiaries. We need the wax. I like that you can put them in these little notches on the sides of the fields. So let's stick another one there. Have one there. Doesn't take much to build. And if we can sell some honey. We can sell some honey for plenty of money. Oh, look at this. I forgot about that. Alright, now I think we've got slightly on the better side of things. Firewood's back up. Logs are good. Let me re restart the construction on this one. We've got the stone. We've got the iron. I think we've got the iron. Um, and, and I guess the next stone wall is going to be really difficult in this area because they can just charge down the mountainside. So I... Maybe I should really be thinking about... Just converting maybe this corner of the field into stone walls. Uh, but I, I kind of want to get them. I want to get them... I don't mind them attacking some buildings. <laughs> I actually kind of want them to get into the city where I've got most of my towers. Oh, it's a diff difficult design. This, this side, definitely, I think I need to do something about. But let's go check out the progress of my defences. It's not looking bad, that. I like it. It's a start, anyway. Crops have been lost to heat stress. Oh, it would do me a favour. I like this, though. This looks really good. We're changing our position. To a tactical one. I was going I was going all out on the uh, defences, but... This is, this is good. We still need so much more stone. It's one thing, I have to just keep buying it. I have to, uh, I can't harvest it from anywhere else. Uh, there must be more spots. Oh, well, there you go. But, oh yeah, I remember every time I go out here, I get eaten by wolves. <laughs> we'll have to send a party. There's some here though. Oh, there's a whole block of it there. Somebody will pick that up eventually. You just have to mark them for it. I hope if I don't, if I mark too many things, it just sort of confuses them. I wonder if that's what happens. There's a whole block there. That's a lot. Stick that there. It's a stone, why won't you? Why won't you let me pick you up? I haven't had that problem with the fishermen for ages, by the way. Fishermen shacks, they've just, I think, whatever that was in the last bug update, they've, they've sorted it. All right, let's check out. For the last thing for today, let's check out how close we are to getting a tier four town center. We have 15 out of 25 large houses built already. So maybe the hospital upgrade is, is, has allowed a few more of them to convert. Yeah, look at that. Large houses now all the way out here. So they must have needed, what is this, 65 bonus? Uh, sorry, desirability. That means this guy is actually incredibly close. <laughs> we don't need much more. We need a, a little bit more food, but that just happens organically. No pun intended. So we just need something that raises the desirability out of this side. Um, these ones. Oh, that's a weaver. That's not even a house. Oh, this this is a large a large house being built there already why is this guy not upgraded already he can do he just needs a little food okay so the auto upgrades are, t are happening we might be all right these just need something to shove the desirability up at this end oh oh i forgot to tell you I forgot... yeah i did it oh i did i didn't tell you i built a statue check it out it's a symbol of your town's success yeah and provides a, a considerable 
Desirability bonus to nearby residents. That's why we've done so well over this side. But I, I think it looks really good. Really, really good. You can even see, you can even see flecks of pigeon shit <laughs> along this side. The bird poo all over him. Of course you would. So maybe maybe this acts as a, as a bit of a deterrent for the raiders. They'll see this guy and think, my god, he looks strong. And he's mounted. I don't think we should attack this place. Villager is feeling worse. Who are we going to lose? Sertor no, not Sertorius. He is notorious Sertorius. Uh, he's a guard. Oh, we need him. Why do all the guards keep getting ill? Have I not got clean water nearby or something? Oh, he's not a guard from the barracks. He's a guard from one of the, the towers. Oof. Okay, I need to go turn my soap makers back on, don't I? The firewood situation's slightly recovered. Alright, you're back. Keep on, keep on soaping them up. Give them a good lathering. We've got another upgrade going on. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today. Um, not a huge amount done, but we have begun the tactical defences of our city. It's going to take a long time. Um, Money-wise, we're good. We've just got to buy enough stone from the next person that, that sells it, basically. To start protecting and deflecting the violence away from the citizens of my beautiful town. And yet again, we have problems with, with wood. Man. Oh, I told the cows also. Yeah, I told the cows to come and graze over here. I don't know if... That I don't know if that reduces the food production in the area, uh, but it keeps them happy. Okay, it, it increases the fertility of my of my little plot of land here. I think it's a fertile area already. I think we're good. I might move them back. <laughs> I just thought they would they could do with eating some apples and pears and stuff. Let's let's move them back. Uh, set grazing. Set you over here. Because <clears throat> if we're going to expand this field, which ultimately we will do, it's better to expand it into a into a, a more fertile area than we already are at. There we go. Oh, that was a, a normal shack to a homestead. Okay. Still, it's looking good. Oh, look at him all proud, standing in his garden. Get back to work. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. All the very best. Take care, and good night.